the whole concept of, the, of this is that you guys are, that you're coming together like this. And if you have this pressure here, then you won't get all kind of thrown out at the end, right? So dance is a language that choreographer together, Mark Gotta knows well. He conducts the dancers like a moving symphony, but his latest inspiration has taken both him and his dancers on an emotional journey with the profound Contract. stories from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Everybody can go on the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's website and you can stream the, the live events and you can see the courage and the pain and the hurt and the devastation to the community from these survivors when they tell their stories, when they give their testimony. But it was too raw, it was too intense to think about using that for the, you know, the fodder for a ballet. Nice, nice. It's very close there. <laughs> Godin found his answer in the works of Joseph Boyden. The award-winning author collaborated with Godin to write the storyline the ballet would eventually be based on. And once again, his muse is RWB soloist Sophia Lee, who dances the lead role of Annie. Sophia has the, the beauty and the lines of a ballerina, but she has the weight and the depth of spirit of, of um, of a person that can stand on stage with meaning and intensity. And one, four. I think that's better than the scissors. Godin and Boyden have woven a beautiful story between a young urban Aboriginal girl named Annie and a stranger, Gordon, who comes unexpectedly into her life to take Annie on a journey and ultimately learn okay. the truth Relax. about her past. It's like every question that she's had so far in her life, it's getting answered. And as she knows more and more about herself, she feels stronger. And that's, that's how I like to feel too in my own life. You know, I'm strong on my own. <laughs> Sometimes it's the dance that creates the emotion, but Godin and Lee have learned so much more. It's actually amazing how much we don't know even for me, I had no idea. <laughs> I, I didn't know anything about this, and yeah, I'm really, I'm realizing now how important it is, and I'm really lucky that I get to learn about it f through dancing. I feel like the luckiest man in the world because you get the intimacy that a dancer shares without the distance between the stage and the audience that happens in the theater. And so there's, ver there's been some very special moments when people like Sophia have really touched something deep inside of her to share this story, this Canadian story. And we're the first ones to see it because we're in the studio. So that's kind of been the difficult challenge is to persevere through these very sad, um, intense moments. Yes. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Tracy Koga.